passive income these are people where money works for them whether they show up or they don't show up and there are two kinds of sources of passive income either from a big business if you are a, if you are Vodacom and you own 40% of Safaricom the kind of income streams that come to you on a daily basis on a monthly basis on an annual basis you do not have to show up because there are so many other people who are working for you and therefore money is working for you and you can afford to take your 6 week holiday my favorite is actually the one for investor where you're just simply an investor a simply an investor and you know 10 years ago is when Safaricom IPO happened. It would have costed you uh, 5 million shillings to buy a million shares of Safaricom. And the first year of dividend of Safaricom, they paid 10 cents. Today, the last, the last dividend that was paid by Safaricom was 1 shilling and 10 cents. How much would that be if you had invested a million, share, you know, million shares? 1.1 million? 1.1 million, you do not have to show up at work. 1.1 million will just be flowing into your bank account. And that's what the Chris Kirubis have done, that's what the, the Warren Buffets have done so well, okay? Uh, the share, five million uh, that you'd have invested 10 years ago would be worth how much? Today, the, it's uh, about 26 shillings per share. 27 shillings per share, so it will be 27 million shillings. Even if you are, I don't think there's anywhere else you would have invested and made that kind of multiplying of, 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 of capital without showing up at work. And that's, that's the power of this. So for me, this is the most superior uh, compared to everything else. And Finally, just to uh, speak about this uh, active income versus passive income, you can see how how uh, you earn, how how it works in the active income space. So you give your time to whatever your your kiosk or whatever you work. You earn a monthly income. That monthly income you spend it on the various things that you buy uh, on a monthly basis and you are left with some savings and those savings go to investments okay that's how it works if you're dependent on active income if you're dependent on passive income the whole thing flips you make you, you have you have your investments investments give you money and you spend money that is coming from your portfolio not money that is coming from your salary.